Well, our earliest work on drug delivery really goes back to the early 70s, and we developed ways to create polymers and plastics that could deliver molecules of pretty much any size and charge. I think some of the things we're most excited about today in the area of drug delivery is we've created these intelligent microchips that we can do remote control drug delivery. And then another area that we've been very excited are new ways of delivering genetic material like siRNA, which gives you a way to silence certain genes in the body and also DNA, which might activate certain genes. We're also doing a lot with nanotechnology, nanoparticles that we could deliver right to, like, say, a cancer cell and no other cell. How are the microbubbles doing? Ah, oh, the microbubbles are doing really good. The approach that I'm trying to design is uh, the idea of uh, using microbubbles. Microbubbles, they are very tiny particles, micron size, and instead of being filled with liquid, they're filled with gas. Microbubbles are clinically viable contrast agents, and they are used to improve ultrasound diagnostics. Essentially, ultrasound is just waves of sound that propagate through liquid very well. And since our body is essentially 70% liquid, the ultrasonic waves are propagating very well through body tissue. With diagnostic ultrasound, the ultrasound beam is propagating through the tissue, then it's reflected back and then it's detected. The bubbles reflect the ultrasound beam. So I'm focusing on trying to incorporate drugs into these microbubbles. If I have those microbubbles loaded with drugs, I can inject them into the body. They will distribute everywhere. But then I can disrupt the microbubbles by an ultrasound beam, and the drug will be delivered specifically where the drug is needed. And so the important property that I'm trying to design is the acoustic destructibility. Simply put, whether or not they will break uh, once I apply the focused ultrasound beam. I actually like to think of microbubbles as tiny little balloons. The ultrasound beam reduces local pressure in the vicinity of the bubble, and then the pressure of the gas inside the bubble becomes higher than the pressure outside, and the bubbles expand and eventually collapse. And then if there's a drug encapsulated in the bubble shell, the drug will be released. This sort of creates a nice interface between the part of my bench which represents the material science and another part of my bench which represents the engineering. So this part of my bench I'm using to make the bubbles and this part of my bench I'm using to break the bubbles. And so this is the uh, exciting engineering design that I'm working on.